Good morning, everyone. I'm on my morning walk. I got creation. We'll talk when I get home, but love today. Doing a lot of editing, listening to Spotify, have some coffee. Hey guys, Um, so I realized I didn't actually start this vlog yet, really. So today's Monday, it's actually Memorial Day. Um, I'm not doing anything. I had a wild, not wild weekend. I went to a conference this weekend. So from like Thursday to last night at like 11, 12 p.m., I have been going non-stop, like 15 hour days. So, I am back home getting my life back together. It's Monday, so that means it's family dinner night. We typically do family dinners on Mondays, pretty much weekly, but I'm just getting a lot of computer work done. I've been doing some schoolwork, editing just random emails, like not super fun stuff. Um, I self tan this morning and trying to think of anything else. I'm gonna show you guys my Marc Jacobs bags that I got. I posted them on Instagram and you guys have been asking me a ton. I got new Yeezys, so I'm gonna like unbox those even though I've already like I've already worn everything, but I want to show you guys what I got, you know? I wasn't vlogging this again, and I missed you guys. Also, um, I think on Friday, um, Sab, Josue, Ryan, and I, like my best friends, we're going to San Diego. I'm actually recording a podcast with someone in San Diego. If you guys can guess who it is, comment down below. It is, like, a company that if you guys are a longtime viewer, you know that I used so much and promoted so much. Like, I was absolutely obsessed with them. I still am. Amazing. If you guys can guess... Comment down below. I feel like if you guys can guess they're a San Diego based company, but it's like I'm recording with the CEO of this company It's gonna be so freaking cool. So they're gonna go with me We're just gonna make a little mini trip of it and I'm gonna go record just for a little bit and whatever But right now I'm just getting some stuff done and I will show you guys What I'm doing. I need to do laundry and all that stuff. I'm gonna edit this vlog and then You know, I really need to like, you know when you get back from like a really crazy few days, I view this as like a vacation, a staycation, like it wasn't, you know? I just feel a little bit out of it, you know? How many times can I say, you know, I'm so sorry. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Love you guys so much. Okay. Alright guys, so I just changed into literally like, this is my outfit for today. I'm just really slow right now. Um, so I have this champion hoodie on, my favorite champion hoodie on, my favorite um, like black joggers. They're from Lululemon. I literally just flashed you guys. Um, they are the dancer jogger from Lulu. They're really comfortable. And then I have my Yeezys on, which I'm about to show you guys anyways. Should have shown you before. Um, yeah, these are it. I've already kind of gotten them. Oh no, I've definitely gotten them dirty. How do I clean that part of my shoe? That is not a good look for these. I need to make sure that those are clean. So please, someone tell me how I do that. But those are the shoes that I got. They're awesome, love them so much. I'm just kind of tired and slow today. Um, I got a lot of computer work done and I just need to get out of the house. I'm gonna go get my car washed. I have a few like to do things that I need to do. But before we leave the house, I'm gonna show you guys my two new bags. So I have not been home all weekend or like for four or five days. So I haven't really like gotten rid of these. Those are the shoes that I just showed you. And then I have two bags from Marc Jacobs that I just bought. This is all trash, but very cute. Um, the first bag that I got, oh my gosh, is this one. I'm gonna have both of them linked down below. I really just needed to change out my recommend cuff bag. I'd way overworn it. Um, I love this one because it's gray and gold together and it's just so cute. It holds so much stuff. Like, it's still a side bag that's like really easy every day, but I can fit my vlog camera and a disposable camera in here and so much other stuff which makes like the biggest difference for me. I love the hardware on it. I love that it's gray and gold because I mix metals all the time. So like this bag pretty much does that for me. So I love this. Um, and there's two like big pockets and there's like a place for your cards. Like I just have a bunch of random stuff in here. I'm not using this right now today, but I love this bag. Like this is just literally the perfect bag. I was looking online last week cause I was like, I really do need to get a new bag. And I was looking at like Saint Laurent and stuff like really high-end brands and I don't know what it is I just am not obsessed with any of the like actual like high-end designer bags right now, but I love this So this is the one that I picked up This is like my everyday bag that I love and then I also have this Marc Jacobs bag This bag is perfect for like meetings and when I'm at church all day and stuff because I can carry so much in it And it's not huge and it's just so cute I'm actually using this today because I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and just do some reading after but like 
it's perfect it's gray that tag is not like a tag it's it's not like a tag when you sell it it's just it's like it stays there you know it's supposed to be there is what i'm trying to say so i don't really like it that much because everyone thinks that i just left the tag on i carry it this way a lot but um it's bigger and i can fit so much stuff into it. i can fit like four books my ipad probably my laptop i did not even tried that um i can fit like a big tumbler cup so like my coffee i can fit a swell water bottle like i can just fit so much stuff and I got this for half off I believe at first it was like four or five hundred and I don't remember like I got it for like forty percent off but it's like literally the best bag it's just so cute and small but carries so much stuff so I like am in love with it that is my Marc Jacobs and Yeezy unboxing for you guys that wasn't really an unboxing when I bought these it was just like ugh. I was just having the best morning like Ooh, I was just having the best morning. I was in West Hollywood. I had like a West Hollywood morning. This is, I can just throw that into my um, laundry basket. Isn't that nice? But I was just having like the best morning in West Hollywood and it was like gloomy out, which is my favorite weather. And I just kind of bought these on a whim. I know I needed a new bag for a while, but like, I don't know. And that was on sale. The reason I got two is because that was on sale. But um, yeah, I just like, I don't know, I was having the best morning, and it was like before Bethel, and then I was going to meet Kat, because Kat works at Alfred, and like all this stuff, whatever. Literally all my friends read stuff. And it was just like, literally such a good morning. I was in the best mood, but I wasn't recording anything. I wish I would have, just because it was such a good day, and like I was, I don't know, like I last week literally was, I don't even know why, how I got into this like spiel of things. This has nothing to do with unboxing. But, um... I don't know, last week I was literally like bouncing up and down, so happy, crazy, and I still am just exhausted, but I don't like, I don't know, I just had this whole like, I was just so happy, like I am, and I think that I have a few things to say. Okay, here we are, I guess we're really just having a little chat, this is not planned. Um, I don't know, I think I just learned, I say this, I think I just learned and grown a lot, but like I really do feel that way, and I like have a very like strong like impression on my spirit basically that like something really good and much bigger is coming and like what all is happening like I can't even like see the surface I have this like thought of like what I'm gonna end up doing and whatever and um I was at conference and I had this whole idea and I was like I think it's kind of like a new color and like it's nothing of I mean it is like having to do with this it's just gonna be like very different but I think that like basically the way that like even go, like that god is like working now with like people who are whatever i don't think that like ministry traditional ministry is going to be traditional ministry for like ever i think that there's going to be people who have like like i have a pastoral call in my life like have this stuff and it all matches up together and it's not always necessarily just like in a church whatever apply that to whatever you want to do with your life it doesn't even have to have anything really to do with like church or like if you don't believe any of that like so good just like I think that there's so many new things and new waves that are coming, but basically, I don't know why I'm sharing this with you guys, so hopefully this is good for someone, but it was like, I got lunch with a friend, and I was like, I just feel like it's almost like a new color, like what is coming is just a new color, and it's like, you look at all these colors, and you can't even like imagine a new one, because it's like, seems impossible, and it's almost like, overwhelming that it seems so impossible, because you try to think of a new color, and it's like, what, but it's like, God does the impossible, and like, there will be a new color, and like, that's kind of how I feel of like, like generationally like where we're going anyways um i literally don't know why also another thing i had a break a lunch break where i was by myself and i facetimed ryan best friend you guys are obsessed with him but i faced him ryan and we were just having like kind of like a heart to heart and i was just talking about a bunch of things and i was like how and this sounds harsh and i'm going to talk about this in a podcast and i don't mean this to sound harsh and this can go to any aspect of your life like relationally business wise friendship wise um, what school you're gonna go to, what you're doing with your life, like, where you're gonna live, whatever, and I was like, how, I think with me, relationally, too, I am someone who, like, if you were in my life and you were a friend, I made a decision, you were my friend, like, I am in your life and I'm committed, obviously, there are times when, like, I grow apart from people, or, like, it's just not where I'm supposed to be or whatever, but for the most part, like, it's a decision, right, and so, I'm like, if you mess up, whatever, like, we're gonna work through it and we're gonna get together, if I mess up, like, whatever, it's just not, like, as based on actions but obviously in unhealthy situations it's a totally different situation but anyways i say this and i have to like really explain it because i don't ever mean to like stay in a healthy relationship or relationship or friendship or whatever i was just talking about how like on the flip side of that when things <laughs> i'm like not trying to get that into it but like because of that i'm very loyal and there are times when like i need to leave 
basically. But I think basically there's a difference between giving grace and giving forgiveness to people and giving them a second chance. You don't need to give a second chance. Like those are very different situations. You can give grace and give forgiveness to someone and not have them back in your life and not have them be in your life. And also I was like, and again, this is the part that sounds harsh. Like how low of myself do I have to think to put myself in a situation like that? So you can apply that to anything. And it's like, I'm not someone, I would not consider myself someone to have a low self-esteem. I would not consider myself someone to like have a low self-worth. I think I overextend. I don't think there's ever, I think you always extend forgiveness and grace, but I think I overextend myself past that to where it isn't that anymore. And it's like a, like other chances that I don't need to be giving because that's not what that is. And I was like, how low of myself do I have to think to put myself in that situation or in that situation again? So like, relationships that's a very big one um like signing a certain contract for me um like taking a certain job going to like whatever you do like you can literally apply that to any area of your life and it's just like it's really changed my like thinking because i look at myself almost as like an outsider like i almost like look at myself as like a friend i need to protect and it really changes like the decisions that i make and what i do and who i'm around i think i'm in a time right now where i'm like extremely extremely intentional with who is in my life and who's like speaking into my life i feel like it's like a very big season of like preparation i don't know whatever but it's just like when you ask yourself that when you're going into situations it's like how low of myself do i have to think to like say like oh this is what i deserve when i know i deserve so much better you know what i'm saying so anyways, this is literally supposed to be an unboxing clip. I don't really know why. If any of you guys got anything from that, please let me know. Uh -huh, but I'm going to like go into that more in a podcast that I'm recording with my friend Nico tomorrow. I don't know when it's going to be up, but if you guys haven't, you need to check out my podcast. I literally love it. It's a lifestyle podcast. We talk about everything from like products to self-growth to like money management. Basically in every area of your life, health. Like how to get healthy and yeah it's just like there's so much that we talk about on there and if you guys like that you would like my podcast i love you so much always link down below with that being said i'm gonna um leave my house and go actually do some stuff so we're gonna go get a car wash i'm gonna go to alfred i think it's gonna be good okay i just got my car washed and it like getting your car washed i have all these tumblers back there is one of the best feelings in the entire world like it's just so clean oh my gosh wow love this so i feel like i really have my life together and i'm gonna go to alfred i got the parking spot literally right out front so people are just probably staring at me as i'm recording myself um but i got this perfect parking spot and i did some reading at the car wash because the car wash that i go to i like it it's really close to me it just takes like 45 it takes a little bit of time i don't know i feel like it takes way longer than normal car washes but it's just busy so i normally like read when i go there also a multitasking tip is that like i keep i constantly am like reading and like writing and whatever but i keep that stuff on me so i just do it when i'm sitting and waiting for things so i got some stuff done but i'm gonna like sit down i'm gonna get a coffee and a snack and just do some reading and whatever and then i'm gonna go to trader joe's and pick up some stuff for family night so i will yeah okay bye we got some oats and a chai. Can I quickly show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's? Guys, this meal was literally $18 and will feed like four to five people. So if you guys are two into family dinners and stuff, this is a really cheap one and it's actually just like so good. I haven't made this meal in forever. If you guys, you guys have probably seen me make it before, but it's really good. I honestly forgot about it and it's coming back today. So I'm going to be making some tacos for tonight. We're doing taco night for family night which is very exciting um but again like i said this is 18 dollars, and you could even do it cheaper than that and it feeds like four or five people so if you guys do family dinners and you're not trying to spend like a ton of money like last week i think we spent if you guys watched the vlog where we made the john and Vinny's pasta i think we spent around like 30 i think we spent like 60 dollars on that one but this is like really really cheap and everyone wanted tacos so i was like all right so we have peppers corn little tomatoes and then okay so this is soy chorizo and like 
Listen, guys, I'm not vegan, and this is so freaking good. This is the best taco, like, meat I've ever had. It's not meat, but you know what I'm saying? From Trader Joe's, it's, like, 2 or $3. It is so good. Joe showed me this, like, when we first entered this house, so, like, a year and a half ago, and it still is, like, one of my favorite things to get at Trader Joe's. Um, it's the Trader Joe's brand, but it's so freaking good. Um, and then, corn tortillas. These are literally, like, 99 cents. And... Avocados. Oh my gosh. So that is it. It's literally so cheap and that's what I'm gonna be making tonight. So I'm currently Making dinner. Um, these are tacos. So everything that you guys just saw um, I have some tomatoes some peppers corn the soy chorizo and then I put seasoning and stuff on there So I'm currently like heating up these. Oh, I this has been on there for a second. This is literally how I do it um, Then we have some avocado and yeah, this is it. It's kind of a mess right now, but this is what I do all right, we're set up for family dinner. I'm actually about to bring the food out here, but I have the table set up. We have the living room. The candles are lit. The candles are lit in there. Coco's toys out. I put this on the TV to be funny. I'd throw some stuff away. It's just a casual thing. As you guys can definitely hear, the jazz music. And yeah, I'll show you guys. We have, this looks absolutely incredible. Oh, sh chill out. Samantha, if you get. All right guys, so it is now like midnight. I'm gonna go to bed. I have an early morning. I have to be at a coffee shop at 7 a.m. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already and comment down below. Don't kill my vibe. I don't know. If you guys made it this far, love you guys so much and I will see you soon.